Hi there, I'm Rob here with today's Western Pacific weather update. It's currently uh, the 21st going into the 22nd of July 2012 down here in the Western Pacific. Today uh, we are reporting on Tropical Depression 30. Now it hasn't been uh, called in its international name yet though. Still 9W by JMA. That has not been upgraded to a tropical storm. But uh, Pagasa has named it though for their name system. Uh, sadly, though, even though it has not been upgraded to a tropical storm, as you can see in the top portion of your screen here, that continuous rainfall that's continuing to flow across the Philippines, well, uh, that has resulted in several deaths, unfortunately. Two deaths due to a uh, flooding, actually a 30 and a 31-year-old male, and also, sadly, still uh, six people still missing. Four uh, people missing out of the fishing village in Bolaño. I apologize if I'm pronouncing your island wrong there. Uh, also, a six-year-old was swept away and a 21-year-old as well when he was fishing on the riverbank due to rising waters there. So, very sad situation currently occurring, and we often see this uh, with these weak systems, but as they linger, the heavy rainfall continues to occur. This not only has brought deaths due to the flooding, but also collapsed buildings. So you have to contend with that threat as well. And if we take a look at what some of the rain totals have been over the past 24 hours. And by using the WMO, we can actually see some of these totals here. But check these out. Upwards of about 167 millimeters there at Sangley Point. If we look elsewhere, though, off towards the north and northern Luzon, that's some reports upwards of near 200 millimeters in the past 24 hours. So this is just showing that intense amount of rainfall. If we go back to that satellite picture, you can see this banding moving out here towards the west. Now, really at this time, though, uh, a lot of the convection is on the western periphery of this tropical system. Near the center of circulation, that is. Although, down there towards the south, you still have plenty of inflow coming in from the enhanced southwest monsoon around Manila, actually. Uh, Bagasa uh, still has warnings out for your area here, indicating that there is still a very serious chance of flooding across much of that region so definitely something to still watch but you also have this wind shear in the center of circulations right about in here in the last several frames the wind is coming in from the northeast at about 20 knots of shear here and that is why you're seeing all that convection all those cloud tops basically like you're blowing on a candle the flame starts to tilt towards the side well that's what's really happening here and that's why you have all this convection now what does that mean in the long term well a nine, you're probably going to be getting uh, some shots of rainfall. Uh, standby signal force one has been posted for Hong Kong, but as um, we've been seeing, a lot of the convection should remain offshore, although still some thunderstorms flaring up. And if we take a look at Hong Kong's radar, you actually have some of these storms visible, and they do, do look like some of them could be packing a punch right here. You actually see somewhat of a bow, and that means you have some pretty strong wind with it but also have lots of convection there and offshore for any shipping traffic going in and out of the major port through that area. Let's pull back the picture once again and take a look at some other features within this. Now on this imagery you can kind of get a better indication of that convection pushing onshore across the Philippines but also over towards Vietnam combined with the afternoon heating here which at the time of this video is about the peak heating or a little bit after the peak heating so you have a lot of these thunderstorms that blew up and started to dissipate well, uh, that's going to be also enhanced as this storm continues to push ever so slowly off there towards the west. So widespread rain showers across much of the South China Sea, also for any shipping going in through this area. Or if you have any flights going out of the Philippines off towards the north into Hong Kong, maybe delayed, likely delayed, maybe not canceled as those flights would have to go around or over top of those cloud tops here. But this is a look at the model outlook. You can see that this is moving on that northwesterly progression. Most of the models are in a consensus of a landfall just towards the west of Hong Kong, somewhere towards the east of Hanai. But Hanai, you're also going to get impacted by those heavy rain, ball, or rain bands that are being pushed off there towards the west. Uh, some thunderstorm activity across Hong Kong, although not expecting that continuous heavy drenching and downpouring and flooding rains that you were seeing down across the Philippines. But remember, you are still in standby signal force one. That's indicating there is still that threat there. Now let's take a look at the official warning. Now this is from JMA. Currently 998 HPA, so it is below 1,000 HPA. As I do expect them to become a tropical storm within the next 24 hours. So that's what JMA is saying. Although they've been saying it for several days now, as the system has been slow to organize, but still has a lot of potential with all of that energy and heavy rainfall in it. But with it only being 
out uh, tropical depression only goes out 24 hours but if we take a look at the Hong Kong observatories track on this, they have it basically moving in a westerly direction along the southern periphery of most of those model consensus but staying offshore of Hong Kong as well here as it continues to track off there on that westerly direction but staying north of Penine but once again lots of that rainfall are going to continue to push out there even Vietnam you will be under the gun with those rains as they continue to build in but that is the look at the track throughout the next several days here and uh, let's pull back the picture here and look at the rest of the Western Pacific, though, because we still have some other things going on. A cool air blast coming in from the north. See that low pressure spinning right here just towards the east of Hokkaido? Well, that is wrapping a nice cool air around it, pushing it towards the south. And Tokyo, you are seeing temperatures only to the 20s today out there in northeastern China, though widespread flooding has been continuing to occur, especially in Chongqing. Uh, uh, near a record-breaking rainfall has been occurring through, uh, throughout the past month now. This has resulted in widespread landslides across this area and uh, widespread flooding as well across much of central China. So a very dangerous situation still occurring there. And also, let's take a look here just towards the east of the Philippines because this is a very interesting development uh, really this is continuing to spin up and I want to show you really quick here end up on the GFS model as we can see here we go through the first several you can see our tropical system developing up there and pushing just towards the south of Hong Kong we're going to continue to watch that obviously but look towards the east of the Philippines that area I just mentioned a second ago because there's a possibility of a development there and pushing off there towards the north possibly bringing some heavy rainfall towards Taiwan and over towards the southern Japanese islands. So going to be continuing to watch that as well. Um, very active uh, time of the year starting up here across much of the Western Pacific. All for right now, everybody. Thanks again for watching here at westernpacificweather.com. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, as always, you can post them in the comment box below. And also, uh, make sure you check me out next week on NHK World. I'll be shaving this off and actually getting back to uh, work there. But... Also, you can uh, continue to follow my updates on Facebook and Twitter at Robert Spetta. And also, you can follow uh, the website at Westpac Weather. And not just to inform you, i uh, got some more features coming up here, hopefully within the next week, uh, trying to make searchable weather on the website. So that's something for you to also look out for into the coming days. All right. Stay safe out there and have a great day.